Hey guys, EA just released their full length reveal trailer for Star Wars Battlefront 2. Hopefully I don't get hit with any copyrights or anything and EA doesn't be a lot of dicks about it, but let's let's check this trailer out and see if this one's even worth it, because the first one was a complete total lie. So hopefully they learned from their mistakes. Oh, EA and Dice. My bad. I've waited 30 years for this. I still remember my last orders. The day the real war began. Hmm. It might be the in real game engine and not actual footage, but that's not bad. No, that just happened. Flee! Flee! Well, you would think that's what they would do. Really? You're actually going to put a story mode in? Uh. Okay, well, to be honest, it does look interesting, I'm not gonna lie, uh, if they go for story mode, I think it'd be kinda cool if they focused even, you know, f like, you know, playing a story that starts with the prequels and ends with the latest Star Wars, probably The Force Awakens, not, uh, The Last Jedi, but also it looks like they're gonna take part of that and explain exactly what they do after the Death Star blows up for the second time, which is really cool too. I mean, it looks good and everything, but I wonder how much of that nice looks good crap is going to be hidden behind a paywall or hidden for the $70 to $100 editions that they do. You know, of course, all the freaking microtransactions and shit. Let's be honest, I don't even still have the first Star Wars Battlefront. I mean, the one by EA, because I just wasn't up for the hype. I wasn't going to buy the plain one and get just a few things and have to wait to unlock other stuff and that and you know yeah for about 20 bucks I can get the one that's got all the included content and everything but besides it looking great it doesn't look that entertaining this one looks like they might be trying to fix that I'm hoping they're trying to fix that because to be honest you know, it's Star Wars I should be really hyped for it but ever since they closed down you know uh, LucasArts games and everything and been focused on this all the other stuff. I thought that was a bad move by Disney They basically just closed down that entire gaming place and everything and you know decided to do it through their own stuff You know and plus this too, you know I think the Battlefront games would be a lot better too if they would use some of the extended universe crap You know all the books all the comics and everything side stories that they did don't you think that would make a really good, like, setup for a game? You know, play these untold stories of the Star Wars universe. However, of course, the entire extended universe has been wiped away by Disney for the canon of the movies. Even though they borrow a lot of those elements from their solo films, especially like Rogue One and all that. So, 
To be honest, for the trailer, I, I would give it about an 8 out of 10. I mean, it does look good. Um, the I know it's not finalized, but the, the uh, graphics and everything, the sound and everything sounds really great. And it does have that intriguing factor of, you know, is there going to be a story mode? Or is it just going to be multiplayer? You know, how many maps are we going to get? How many characters are we going to get? How much are you going to make us pay extra for? If you don't make us pay extra for, that would be really cool. I really hope that that's what they do. But I don't, I honestly don't see that happening with EA and everything. So, yeah, I, I should be super excited, but... You know, yeah, it's Star Wars, but it's Star Wars Battlefront that's got a really bad taste in people's mouths. So hopefully EA fixes their mistakes. Please leave a comment down below, you know, tell me, am I wrong? Did you really like this trailer? Did you really like the first game? Are you hyped for this one too? Are you going to pre-order it and buy it as soon as it comes out? Like and subscribe for more videos, and thanks for watching.